So, if y'all watched Baddies last night, E.T. was making a whole spectacle about this man that Biggie knew hit her, right? So, they slowed the footage down and seeing it didn't even seem like he was trying to hit her. It seemed like he was trying to catch video of Biggie who was behind her. Now, this is my problem. Let's come up here. Camilla talking about some, no, she didn't. That man ain't hit that woman. She wanted a story. So why didn't you say that? You actually agree. No, you disagree first. You was like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't remember. That. I don't remember that. Then you was like, yeah, I do remember. So if you remember how all of a sudden she just needed a storyline. I feel like the first answer you gave, which was no, nah, I don't remember was the answer. But for some reason, you might have been nervous because everybody was on E.T. side, which is shocking to me because I mean, you're Camilla. You're the OG. You know what I'm saying? You're What was it on? Oxygen, Bravo, one of those stations. How did you not want to tell the truth on this? And I feel like we all can agree that E.T. wanted a storyline and Biggie just put batteries in her back to make her feel like this was her moment. Because even in the confessionals, it's like she was trying to be funny, but she was just not. And I honestly feel like Biggie knew who they were talking about, but I feel like she didn't want to say she knew because they was going to automatically think that, yeah, you set the girl up, which is why she kept saying, I don't know who it is. It could be a fan. It could be this. Or that. But I don't think Biggie took somebody to the side and was like, when you see her, I don't see that. I feel like Biggie, she does over explain a lot as Suki was talking about, but she's not scared to stand up for herself. And shout out to Suki for not just picking sides because the house was on one side. She always tried to get her one-on-ones in and really trying to figure out like what's really going on.